Hello everybody, I'm your friend and neighborhood Let's Player Spider Ma. And I welcome you back to Let's Play Outcast. Jeez, of course there's gonna be soldiers patrolling the area right away. And be careful about this. Yeah, talking to this Shamas can be dangerous because of the soldiers walking around. They can spot you inside the building. Just hope they just walk on by. Oh, then just go back. Okay, no danger. Get it. Well, somewhere around here, medical supplies. I'll get them later. For now, we're gonna talk to the Shamas. Something. Hello. The Urukai is here. The yards have spoken and delivered you. I, Shamaz Zokras, await the words of the Ulukai. Well, my words are Shishkabob, Eagle, Monstrosity, Action. Yes. Like those words? No? No. Fine then. Tell me more about Feyran. I only think of one thing each time I face Feyran. That I wish to still have my essence when you are able to stop his evil essence. All around this region of Talanzar is tainted with his presence. You can see it in the faces of those who walk this city's streets. They are ready for a new beginning. Sounds like things are rough around here. Could you give me some history on Talanzar? Once this region was a vast field of purple grass. All homes were one with the land. No roads were built or large structures. Just a simple life of hunting and farming. Then Feyran came to Talanzar after the death of Khazar. Why here? No Talan knows. He saw the land and ordered that a large palace was to be built here. His soldiers forced all Taran to begin work that very moon. As the structure began, he ordered a city to be built around the palace. As the palace grew, so did the number of workers building it and the city's size. So this city is what was created? No, Ulukai. The original city was three times the size that Ukriana is this moon. As the palace neared completion, the Yods began to show their unrest. The water left Talanzar, never to return again. The land dried up, and soon long moons of wind began. Speaking of long wind... The land began to ride the wind, and over a period of many moons, it buried the old city of Okriana and half of the palace Fey. Not discouraged by this, Feyran rebuilt the city atop the old and ordered the building of the walls to hold out the yards should they attempt again to bury his creation further. So it's basically a city upon a city. Kind of reminds me of... A Monty Python. I don't remember the quote. So, nah. Not gonna do any quotes. I assume you're the man to see about getting the Mon, right? It is good. You seek what you were sent to rejoin in order to save Adelpha. Yods be praised. But my failure to deliver it to you currently blocks your way. Why is that? None may enter where the Mon is resting now. Since your arrival, all traffic has been stopped in and out of its home. And that is where? Inside the Palace Fey, at the heart of Okriana. In with Feyran himself. Yeah, of course. It's never easy. Never is. You put it in the palace? It was a great idea, no? Can I get inside the palace? Right now, it would take an army. And so much for your great idea. 
It was an idea given to the Shamaz who was guarding the Man at the time. The Yards gave it to him in his sleep. Hide the Man close to the monster and it will never look under its own feet. Doesn't do me much good if you hide it someplace I can't get to. Well, we will get there, eventually. The plan was that I would enter the palace, Fey, and return it to you. But Feyran has not allowed anyone inside since you arrived on Adelpha. So what's the plan now? You should stay far away from the palace, unless you are eager to join the Yards again. I will wait for Feyran to call for my services again. Until this happens, or an army comes to break open the doors to the palace, Fey, your path to this mon is blocked. Great. What am I supposed to do now? I would suggest that you search for the other moms if you have not already found them, Ulukai. Or, if you rather, explore Okriana. I know many Talan here are eager to help you. All except the secret object merchants, that is. No, of course, the merchants are bastards anyway. Tell me about these sacred object merchants, please. And also, will you please fix your hands? It's really disturbing that they're glitching out. All my efforts to stop them from selling the sacred objects have failed, Ulukai. They even now walk the city, offering to sell sacred objects to those who would have them. Why are they doing this? These merchants are greedy, and many Talan want very much to have an object of the Yards in their possession. If you want to find some of these objects, they would be the Talan to find. Perfect. But I did tell you already that the merchants are bastards, so yeah. Let's ask about Marian then. Zokras, a friend of mine is here. Yes. The strange being was being taken to the palace Fey, but the Guardians were able to help her escape. Yards be praised. Where is she now? That is unknown to me, Urukai. But she was last seen fleeing with a few known Guardians around the area of Zelb's Bar. It is in the Builder's Buck to the southwest of the palace Fey. You must hurry there, Urukai. Builder's Park, Southwest, thank you. That's all the knowledge I need. Yeah, I know this, I know this. Shut up. Yeah, the most annoying part of the whole game is the stupid computer. Ooh, nice. I wonder if there's anything up here. Nope. Nothing here. So, Builder's Park, somewhere. Southwest? Yeah, southwest. <laughs> Already forgetting where I'm supposed to go. Nope, not gonna shoot even if. It would be really nice if I could see through walls as well. But I can, so. You're being a dick, computer. There it is. Pick it up. Good boy. Oh, it was somewhere around here. Because she can see them, but no, I can't. She's a, such a sh sh cheater. You cheat, computer. I don't have x-ray vision. Well, technically I do because of the binoculars, but I cannot see items. I can see only cable. It's not really x-ray, it's more like thermal. I guess. See. See. <laughs> oh no! No, oh, I promised myself I will not be singing and doing the gameplay. <laughs> the metal must be um, behind the wall somewhere. Um, you okay there, man? Hi there. You are welcome here, Ulukai. I am known as Yagu, and I sell wrists. Riss, nice. Tell me a little about your Riss. We are taxed for our sales on Riss to the other talents, but we also have to buy the Riss from the soldiers at a high price. 
It makes it hard for Talon to afford the risk, but it does not matter much because the soldiers take most of the risk produced in Shamazar for themselves. Well, not anymore. I pretty much stopped them from doing that. You should be okay now. Sorry about the taxes. Sorry for you being stuck there. You know, you could move a little. But if you weren't so fat, you wouldn't be stuck. No, I'm sorry. Didn't mean to call you fat. Uh, okay, let's see. What do I need? need to get to the builder's block? That's what I need. I need to find Marion. Ooh, somebody left money. Oh, greetings there. This must be... This is what you will hear throughout the city when you meet one of these sacred object merchants. Come get your sacred objects! Yeah, we'll be hearing that quite a lot as we move along in the city. How you doing? Oh, look, guy. Yards be thanked. You have arrived. Oh, hooray! Yeah, wonderful. Can I ask what you do? My brothers will be so jealous I was the first to meet you. Your brothers? I have many brothers. We grew up together, were converted together, and all have the same business. One that spreads hope and comfort to all Tala. And also grief and uh, something else. Misery. Yeah, because you're not cheap. They sell at a high price. What is that? Oh boy, that's a high price. We all sell sacred objects of the yards to those who would like to have them. These sacred objects have been traded for many moons, and all who have them feel they have a piece of the yards with them. Good things all say, stranger. You've got some of my stuff? Great, let me see what you have. Why, of course, Urukai. I would be most happy to sell you any of the objects. Yes, sell. Hold on a second, Zippy. What do you mean, sell me the objects? They're my equipment. I can see why you are upset, Urukai. But once you hear our story, you will understand why we must ask for Zorkings for these objects, even from you. I will alert my brothers that you have met with me first, so they can expect your arrival. So let's hear the sub story then. This better be a damn good story for why I have to pay for my own equipment. Exactly. Our father has always tried to decide which one of us would be given the control of the family business when he is reverted. So now my brothers and I have been given each a book to set it. Let me guess. The one who makes the most Zorkins wins. You have talked to our father? Is not his plan a brilliant one? No, it's not. Look, buddy. I'm here trying to save my world, and the only way I can do that is by sticking my neck out for yours. Now you're standing here telling me that because of some stupid contest you have, I have to buy my own equipment from you? We will all give you a discount, of course. No, oh, of course, that makes things much better. I hate these guys, really. This is like selling water to a guy who comes to help save your burning home. Pretty much. I do not think you see the full drawing, Ulukai. It is not the Zorkin or the business we are all wanting. My brothers and I all hate each other and do not want to let one of the others be in charge. That would be worse than reversion to us. You know I'm trying to help you, Talon, right? To put an end to Feyran, to end all suffering? This ringing any bells here? We are not in Talon who are making them suffer, Urukai. No, oh, but you're making me suffer. Great. Then maybe I should just stop helping. That would be great for business, Urukai. As Talon's suffering increases, so does the prices of our items. If all the Talon are miserable, then they will pay their last Zorkin for something of the yard. If they are hopeful, they less need our sacred objects. Do you see now why I hate these guys? They're just nothing but greedy bastards. Living on their own uh, countrymen misery. The more miserable the others are, the happier these guys are. 
just irk me. I cannot believe this. I should do this world a favor and start ridding it of Talon like you. And that would make you better than us to revert a talent without a weapon? You do not need to buy from any of us, Ulu Kai. We pay talent who find secret objects in the wild. You are welcome to explore the regions and find them as well. You guys are definitely off my Christmas list. Yeah, the only problem is these guys have stuff that you cannot find. They have weapons, upgrades for weapons, and also ton load of ammo sometimes. So yeah, you do need them. Killing them is a bad thing. Also, you would if you kill of these innocent Talon, you would just lose your reputation anyway. So, how much are your objects, creep? I love it when he calls them creeps. Have you been sleeping or something, Ulukai? No Talon seems to be fearful of you anymore. Hardly any who stop me want to buy a sacred object even at their lowest price. Could you not stare them up a bit more? I need to catch up to my brothers. So they're pretty low now, huh? Let's see what he's got. So by weapons, he's got the LN Duo, he's got the HKP-12 upgrade, and he's got the Flame Floor. Eh, brother. I will eventually buy all the weapons, and all the up try to get all the upgrades for the weapons, but for now I have the HKP-12, so I'm gonna upgrade it. At least try, let's see. 220. Yeah, 60. I know how counting is to go with the mathematics, yes. No, 260. Yes. Take your damn Zorkins. I have another talent who was interested in that. You are lucky to get it now. Yeah, so freaking lucky. Okay. So let's go to weapons, and as you can see, our current level is 1. It means that we have a bigger uh, clip for the gun, and uh, slightly better pump fire power to it. I don't think there's anything else to it. It just uh, increases the clip size and increases fire power. Let's see what else you got. Let's see what's the price on the... I get another upgrade? I thought I needed to do something to get the upgrade. Hmm. Let's see. Take your... This is a very wise choice, Ulukai. I thought that the gun needed to do... Uh, I needed to do a little quest for the weapon to get it to level 2, but... Uh, that works. That's good. It's really good. So I got 1,300 Zorkins left. So... What items do you have? You got the A, mm -hmm, clever D, clever T, and I don't have really. <clears throat> so my gun is now finally fully upgraded, which is good, very good. So let's see the Ellen Duo. No. How about the FT seventy four X one thousand three? You don't have enough money. Yeah. Okay. I don't have enough money. See you later. Okay, so that was one of the first merchants. Come get your secret object. I was waiting for you to say that. So what's the current prices with you? How much are your objects, creep? Hurt, frighten, be destructive. What are you doing, Ulukai? I have had to lower my prices to their lowest point in moons just to try and create interest. How about giving them some wrath of your destruction? How about... No. Seriously, they just want me to cause people to panic so they won't put their prices higher. But since their prices are now low, I will buy stuff from them. And you just got the flamethrower. Yeah, it's the same price. Let's see, you got ammo? And eh, not my ammo. I should go back to the other guy and see what kind of ammo he had. Uh, Ubik and dynamite. 
Uh, yeah, I could buy dynamite, but no. I don't like buying items from them. The only thing I really buy from these guys are the weapons, because uh, you need weapons. So what ammo do you have? Yeah, you got an HKP-12. 26 Zorkins each. Not, not too bad, not too bad. I'll buy... Can I ask you something? Take your damn Zorkins. With this, you can do some real damage, no? Ooh, yes. Ooh, yes. Thanks for the ammo. Oh god, you're the 500 ammo. Good. Where's metal? Where did you see metal? Are you fibbing with me again? Stupid computer. <gasps> Must be up here somewhere. Aha! There it is. Where? I don't see any. Oh, they're on the wall. I already got them. I should get down before they see me. Ouch. Out. Ouch. That was really nice of you. Ouch. Just crawling away so they won't see me. Just be real quiet. And go. Why am I picking those up? I don't, I'm such a, such a hoarder in an adventure games. No matter what game I play, Skyrim, Oblivion, um, Fallout, uh, any kind of exploration game, that where you go around and you can pick up stuff. I have to pick everything up. Diablo, anything that I can think of. Are you the person who I think you are? Hmm. Let's see. That's green. Come here a second, would you? Hi there. You are a pleasant sight to these eyes, Ulukai. Yeah. Let me explain a little. He is not female. I said he. Even he. Even if he sounds like one. This is this is the most disturbing Talon in the game, just because of the voice. Mm, thanks, ma'am. My name is not that. It is Nika. Are you a... Yes. I am a Risa merchant. No, no. Um, are you a female? Ulukai makes jokes. What a brave being you are with all the Kozan around you. To seek to give us all hope with humor. That is why I hate to ask you if you look too near. Oh God damn that voice! I they made it as a joke. I'm sure of it. They made it as a joke that one of the Talan should sound like a woman, just to mess up where your mind. Every time I talk with this person, <laughs> it's just, just <laughs> anything you care to tell me about your wrist. It is fresh from the fields of Shamazar. The farmers there work too hard to deliver it to us. I hope that some moon they will have a reason to stop farming. They've already done that, but seriously, even the tone of the voice is just to mess up with you. <laughs> What's this favor, Nika? I need some Zorkins. Please, Ulukai. Now I know you're a female. <laughs> You are a silly one, Ulukai, but I am serious. I need those Zorkids to return a very important object that the soldiers took from me when I was not able to pay my tax this noon. If I do not return it soon, a soldier may lay claim to it, and I will never see it again. And you want me to buy it back? No. I just need to borrow the Zorkins from you, so I can get it back. Then, I will be able to repay you, with a little bonus to reward you for your help. <laughs> Please, Mulukai. Why am I getting a crying game feeling here? <laughs> yeah, I wonder. Well, how much of a loan do you need? It is a very big one, Ulukai. 
Well, thank you. Ah. No. Ah. Loan. Loan. Five hundred. Not too bad. I'll give it to her. Can you take him. all of it now? Oh, I can indeed. Thank you, Ulukai. Return later this moon, and I will have it to return to you. With a little something extra on the side. All right, enough games. What are you? <laughs> As I said, I am a Reese merchant. No, are you a male or a female? <laughs> I had not heard you were this funny, Urukai. <laughs> it has been many moons since I laughed. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I need a shower right about now. <laughs> yeah, I think I, I think I'm gonna stop here and take a shower. <laughs> that's that's a good funny point to put an end to this video. So <coughs> she he is off to pay the tax, and later on when we meet her him again, we'll get the money back and maybe something extra. Did I just see what I thought I saw? Are there freaking spiders inside one of the houses? Yeah, I can hear them. Let's go kill them. Somewhere. Whoa. Oh, it's a storage house. Huh. Well, maybe later I'll check them. But for now, as I said, I will... Put an end to this uh, most unnerving episode ever I've done. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you have a good evening, good afternoon and a good morning. And I will see you all later. Take care people. Bye.